We want to make a line simulator game with fully functional developer products and so much more. This tutorial has it all. Let's jump straight in. Firstly, you want to get this file linked in my Discord server. By the way, it's in the description. You want to drag it into your Roblox Studio and just like put it like flat on the ground. Next, you want to ungroup the models in the correct locations. So, for example, if the model has ungroup in workspace, you want to you would want to put it in workspace and ungroup it. For this next step, it's really important to put data stores to save your levels, which you receive by winning. So you just go to security and just enable that, make sure it's green. And after that's enabled, you can just press save. Once you're done with that, you want to make enough tiles for your players. So for example, if your max player count is 5, you'll have 5 tiles. Do you want to test the game, but you have no friends? Oh, well, introducing the server starter button, or whatever it's called. Let me show you what this does. So, I just choose three players, because it always works for me. And it's just a perfect amount. Just press play, it might take like five minutes. But there you go, you have a server of three. And if you want to test out the cutting in line feature, press the button. And you'll get swapped with the player in front of you. Alright, just do it again. And after that, you should get teleported. Sometimes it takes a while for some reason. I don't know why. But sometimes it's just instant. Like that. And I just cut the video a bit, not gonna lie. But yeah. Alright, let me briefly explain what the end part does right here. So, this is where... You, the player will walk to when they get to one and they just skip in line, right? There's also called a part that's called teleport part. After they walk and they finish the walking, they'll be sent to the teleport part. You can have like a club here, a bathroom, or whatever you want. As you see, it got teleported to the bathroom, but you can put it anywhere. You can put it on top of the tower. Or, you can, put, you can literally put it anywhere. Like, what even is this? Like... It can go anywhere. Now let's talk about the monetization. You can go to this button and press on its local script and there should be a dev product in here. And you can edit the ID to your dev product. If you don't know how to make it, watch this 10 second tutorial. You wanna go down here and go to monetization and then press the dev products. After that, press create a dev product, pretty simple. You can set the name to whatever you want, but I'm gonna call mine Skip. You also don't have to put an image, by the way. You don't have to do that. And I'm gonna set it to 10 Robux, because I want Robux. And just press the save button after that, and just copy the ID right here. It's It should be under the name. After you're done that, go back to the script and put it where the numbers are. Just copy paste it in. And now, the Robux system should work, so just test it now. All right, so all right, I'm gonna buy it, but don't worry, this is a test purchase, so it doesn't actually charge Robux. And I'll be walking to the end, and you get teleported to the teleport part, and the video is over. How about 25 likes, and I'll think about making part two. Goodbye, guys.